welcome to Evie's Toy House and today we have a really exciting doll to review. So finally we got Multi Mouse, the official Multi Mouse doll from Reckless Ladybug. I'm super excited because look, back here we got Molo, the mouse Kwame. If you've been to my channel recently, you probably saw the customs that I've been making from the Miraculous Ladybug Marinette dolls. So over here on the left, I have my version of Multi Mouse. And over here on the right side are three Unification dolls. So we have Multi Noir, Multi Bug, and Multi Fox. These were so much fun to make. If you haven't seen those videos yet, make sure to check them out after this video. So let's take a look at our doll. So this was ordered from the Amazon in UK. So it was imported because it's not available in the US just yet. So this box looks just like all the other Miraculous Ladybug boxes. They have not changed the packaging. Over here on the right side, we have Multi Mouse. And you can see a lot more details on her. She is wearing a pair of glasses and has a nose ring. She also has two chokers around her neck and also the Fox Miraculous down here underneath the Mouse Miraculous. So she is wearing a whole ton of these Miraculouses. Over here on her left hand, she's wearing a bracelet. I believe this is for Purple Tigress. On the back, we have an image of Multi Mouse in a fighting pose. Here is Molo, and you can see one more Miraculous down here. I believe this is the stopwatch from Bunnix. On the right side, it says Multi Mouse Marinette. Many mini marinettes to the rescue. Multi Mouse let her shrink and multiply until she has all the help she needs. And we have the same thing in multiple different languages. Okay, now let's go ahead and take her out of the box. Since I do like to keep these dolls in their original packaging, I'm just going to cut the ends here with an X-Acto knife. So if you're going to do the same, make sure to be very careful and get help if you need it. This way we can put the doll back in and display her in her box. I only started to do this recently and I kind of wish that I had kept all the other boxes from the other dolls. So I'll cut three sides and we can open this up like a book. And this comes out. Let's free her from her ties. Alright, so here is Multi Mouse. Here's an up close look at her face. So she has big blue eyes. Her mask is painted onto her and she has peach colored lips. Her hairstyle is a little bit different than the other dolls. We have her bangs swept over to the side and she has two buns on top of her head. So the way it looks is like this in the back. You can see a bit of that hair here. So it's not a perfect bun. It's not tucked in perfectly, but rather just twisted around and tied, which is actually very similar to the way I did my multi mouse's hair. I had difficulties because the hair was very, very short and I actually had to glue it down. So you can see here, it's kind of a mess because there was a lot of glue and the hair was not parted down the middle. So it came out a little bit crooked, which you can also see from the front. And as you can see, because this hair is longer, you can do a better bun around her head. And that's also why when I did the unification dolls, I did not bother to do the hair just because it didn't look very good on my original Mota Mouse doll. Here is a quick comparison of the two doll faces. I think I actually do like the this version better. I think she looks cuter. She has um, her face is just a little bit better designed, I feel. And her eyes are not as round as this one is. Um, this one also looks a little bit cross-eyed to me. And this one looks a little bit more natural. And I feel like I actually like the shape and size of this face better. And here's the two of them with their masks on. Moving on, here is her outfit. So her outfit is a light gray, almost silver, with light pink trim. Down here on the lower portions of her arm is black. And down here, look, Multi Mouse is actually wearing boots. So this is a surprise. I think this is the first pair of boots that we got with these dolls. Usually we get uh, small shoes that only fit on the bottom of their feet. But it's actually really cool that we have boots this time. So we can take these boots off. 
and her pants does go all the way down. Her pants goes all the way down and you can actually see her feet. So these are not onesies like the other dolls. Usually the Miraculous Ladybug dolls are one piece onesies where it covers the feet. And then we have the shoes. So I'm really liking these boots. And we also have a bit of the black going up here on her outfit. I always thought this black portion was the boot and so she actually has thigh high boots and uh, not part of her outfit. So I'm not really sure which way it really is. Around her waist we have her weapon which is a jump rope and this is really just a rubber uh, jump rope. So it's not a string with sticks but it's just one piece. It's wrapped around her waist as a belt and you can't untwist it. So you can't really use it as a jump rope. As far as articulations, she has basic articulation here in the shoulders, the elbows, the wrist rotates here at the hips and at the knees. So she can pretty much do anything you would want to, just like a regular doll. She comes with two accessories. Here is her miraculous, a necklace, which you can pop on her like that. And of course, the very important Mello! Oh my goodness, this is super cute! I love the way they had Molo with these big ears! And what I also like about this doll is that the legs are even. I have a lot of problems with the legs for these Marinette dolls. Almost every single one of them is uneven, so that's why they're all kind of standing in a slant. Because for almost every doll, there is about a 2 to 3 millimeter difference between the legs. And so whenever they stand, they're always a little bit crooked. And another thing I want to point out is that even though the box shows all these miraculouses on her, all these accessories, this doll actually does not have it. So we do not have the glasses, we don't have the nose rings, or the other necklaces. So I thought that was a bit of a bummer because they showed it in the picture but didn't actually include it in the doll. Alright everyone, so what do you think of this multi mouse doll? Do you like it? And do you prefer the lighter gray color or the darker gray color that I did for my doll? Let me know down below in the comment section and I'll see you next time. Bye!